Welcome back. Today we're here outside Urbana, Ohio, getting ready to check out the Cedar Bog Nature Preserve, one of the first nature preserves here in the state of Ohio. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps get this content out to more viewers. Now follow us as we check out Cedar Bog. Cedar Bog was purchased in 1942 by the state of Ohio and became Ohio's first nature preserve. What exactly is Cedar Bog and why is it important? Cedar Bog is a nature preserve with several different wetlands with a mile plus long boardwalk providing a pathway through the wetlands. It is a paradise for naturalists and photographers with several rare orchids, carnivorous sundew plants, grass of Parnassus, fringe gentian, and many other plants and animals. Cedar Bog contains 10 different habitats we will explore as we follow the boardwalk. In all reality, this is not a bog, but a fen. Exhibits in the visitor center and signs along the boardwalk will help explain the differences between the two wetlands. Cedar Bog has been designated a national natural landmark. This site possesses exceptional value as an illustration of the nation's natural heritage and contributes to a better understanding of man's environment. Well, we're just heading outside the Cedar Bog Visitor Center, getting ready to hop on the boardwalk and check out some amazing nature and the first nature preserve here in the state of Ohio. Just an old field. This field is home to a rich combination of wildflowers, shrubs, grasses, and wildlife. It is excellent habitat for a wide range of small rodents like meadow voles, which in turn provide food for hawks, owls, foxes, coyotes, and snakes. If left alone, the flowers and grasses would get crowded out by shrubs, and eventually this field would become a forest, reducing plant and animal diversity. You can see the amazing nature so far and plenty to come, so make sure you keep following us as we check out more of this nature gem here in the state of Ohio. Like this place where they have signs telling you what all this stuff is. Here's a sedge meadow. This area is a sedge meadow. It is the most critical wetland habitat found here at Cedar Bog. The open sunlight and abundant cool water bubbling up from the underground provide habitat for the greatest concentration of endangered and threatened plants. East Branch Cedar Run. Water seeps to the surface in the surrounding sedge meadow and slowly drains into this stream. Since it comes from underground, the water is always 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit by comparison with the air temperature. The stream is cold in the summer and warm in the winter. Lucky we may see a spotted turtle down here. Hardwood swamp forest. In this spot, you are surrounded by red maples and black ash trees, which thrive in these water saturated soils. On slight rises that are drier, you might find butternut and tulip poplar growing. In mid April, the wettest areas are bright yellow with marsh marigolds. Later, they are joined by white trillium, Solomon's plume, Jack in the pulpit, and many other spring wildflowers. You Where's your smell? tea? Smell, smell the flowers? I smell the flowers. Smell the flowers? 
Are you having fun in the cedar ball? Do you see the distinct line on the cedars across the sedge meadow about five feet off the ground? Below the line, the cedars have no branches. This browse line is created by deer. If they could reach higher, the line would be much higher as they eat everything in their reach. Let me zoom in here. You see that line right there is what they're talking about. In addition to the cedar leaves and twigs, deer also eat many other plants, including rare orchids with no wolves or other predators. Deer become too numerous, eating too many plants and destroying the habitat for themselves and other wildlife. To protect the rare plants at Cedar Bog and to maintain habitat for other wildlife, we have controlled hunts for deer to keep their numbers in check. Cedar swamp forest. Does the ground look dry? It may appear that way, but it is less than one foot above the wet sedge meadow. The soil below is very wet. Northern white cedars typically grow farther north and are rare in Ohio. Cedar bog is the only place in Ohio that has a sedge meadow with northern white cedar around it. Feel the soft flattened branches of one of these cedars. White cedars look similar to the common eastern red cedar, but they are much different and prefer to grow in, grow in moist soil. The leaves of red cedar are roundish, hard, and scratchy. They grow in dry habitats and are actually a type of juniper. Prairie plants are tough survivors. We generally think of prairies as being in dry, droughty areas. However, some prairie plants thrive in wet meadows like this. We can find a plant called the small fringe gentian. It's a rare plant. Well, so far the cedar bog does not disappoint. This is an amazing nature trail and it's pretty easy trekking just here on the boardwalk. And the signs tell you the whole story and I'll relay them to you. But continue to follow us as we check out more of Cedar Ball. Now here's another sedge meadow. The wet meadow surrounding you supports 63 different species of sedges. Five are relics of the last ice age and are state endangered species with so few tall trees, sedge meadows, Letting lots of sunlight, providing habitat for many sun-loving rare plants and animals. Nearly 77% of all the rare and endangered plants of cedar bog are found in the sedge meadow. Got some berries. Oh, 
we're currently right here and when we before we started in the visitor center they said there was a beaver dam right here so it's going to be cool to check here in one second a beaver dam Oh, there's a snake. I wonder if that's a rattler. Oh, looks like it. Good eye. I don't see a rattle on the end though, but. You can see a bird's nest in here. Well, we just got done walking the boardwalk. There's a few other things out front and to the side of the building we're going to check out now. So let's go check them out. Tall grass prairie. Native prairies contain hardy, drought resistant grasses and wildflowers that may grow to six or eight feet tall. These plants provide habitat for grassland birds, butterflies, and many other animals. 200 years ago, Ohio had more than 1,500 square miles of prairies, but most has been plowed or paved. Cedar Bog has small patches of native prairies, plus a couple of places like this where we are restoring native prairies. <laughs> 